artiste of the year at the 22nd edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. And I know you're jealous this morning. You're not sitting by her. You're not breathing the same air with her. And I want to thank God for this very opportunity that I'm one of the first to speak to her on air, on television, after she picked up that award. Now, it would interest you to know that Dinah Entry Hamilton is the second gospel artiste in Ghana to win Artiste of the Year. Now, the second Ghanaian female to win Artiste of the Year and the first female artist in Ghana to win Artiste of the Year whilst alive. Jesus is cool like that. <laughs> so, that was the phrase I picked up when you were, when you're giving your speech after you picked up the mm. biggest award for the night. She goes, Jesus is cool like that. <laughs> and I was like, okay, now it looks like, yeah, Grace is at work, Adum is at work, but this lady wore white even for her introduction. Did she think that victory was coming? Did she know that victory was coming? It could have been any other color, like what you're wearing this I morning. Know, right? But it was white. And the women vigor now the nanting best starting you. And you going to twist, twist and ten, ten oh. some things somewhere. And at the end of the night, listen. Out of six nominations, which were Best Gospel Song of the Year, Song Writer of the Year, Best Music Video of the Year, Best Gospel Artist of the Year, and um, Most Popular Song of the Year, and Artist of the Year, you mm. picked up four. I know. Now, I know. you couldn't wait to call Harvey. Did you call him? I did. What did he say? <laughs> he was shouting. He was like, Artist well, How come he wasn't there, though? Well, it was a very big night. I know. I'm not going to forgive him for no, not being there. No, you have to. Why? Because um, the twins needed someone around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, now we that, couldn't all leave. But what is this whole thing about? This is to you have to I like say your English. You just have to. Wait. You have to. Debbie, I don't like that one. I don't want that. You have to. Let's go back to the red carpet. I mean, so you have to take care of the children. No, that's not what we are saying. <laughs> I want the crown, the Bridgerton type of English this morning, girl. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, one thing was very evident. You said it. It was all over social media that the church mm. was at work. Mm. I want to find out from you this morning, and I'm your sister. Let's just be plain, simple, mm. and very candid with each other. Mm. Was this calculated? Was this calculated? Um, I don't think anybody sat down to calculate this. But um, the Church of Pentecost has a theme this year. Possessing the nation. I know nation. about it. Yes. And so the chairman is running with this vision. And as a church, we're following the chairman and God with that. We're possessing the nation in terms of politics, governance, education, finance, entertainment. Okay. And um, we're not going to do what the masses are doing. We're bringing Jesus to the market. Mm. And I think I, I have been one person who was taking mm. Jesus to the market. And the church deemed it fit to support me and push me to do this. And so it wasn't just, it, just the Church of Pentecost, it was the body of Christ. That because I, I met I met um, some bishops last night, mm. and all they kept saying was, "You've made us proud. You've made Jesus a very attractive okay. person mm. to hang around mm. with." Mm. And um, I was just glad mm. that I was a vessel God chose to right. use for that. Right. Yeah. Congratulations once again. Thank but you. two years ago, when Joe Metal was aspiring for this same award, mm. um, yes, he was had it two years. Yes, two years ago. Last year was Kwame Eugene. But before then was, was Joe, um, Joe Metal. Yeah, now we saw a lot of support for him. Many people were supporting and rooting for him, mm -hmm. but we didn't see a lot of rallying behind him or around him from Christian Dom mm -hmm. like it was done for you. Mm -hmm. Where did this decision come from? Whose decision was it that let's all throw our weights behind Dinah Hamilton? I Whose have, idea was it? I have no idea, but I have to first and foremost give a shout out to Team DH. Okay. I have to give a shout out to Team DH um, for that love shown, for that support. Listen, they attached so much emotions. And um, go out there and, and, and check them out. Mami Poma and the team on, mm. on Instagram. Mm. They made so much noise. And they, in their own small ways, went around talking. To, I, it, nobody sat down to have a meeting. Okay. And um, a fear could tell was just... So this, this was just a movement about, that just started, just started on, social, on media, social media, on phones, individual, individual phones, phones, and it became a movement. It, it did. Wow. It did. I don't even know who started the frame, 
and there's a young man in Team DH, oh yeah, Young Rash, right. decided to bring a frame and um, everybody was doing it. And so when someone did and brought it to me, I just threw it on my WhatsApp status. And then people were like, how'd you do it? I want to put my picture on it. Can, you, can I send you a picture? I'm mm. like, I can't do it. You mm. have to be on Facebook. Mm. It, listen, it's an experience I will never forget. Right. I'll never right. forget. Right. No. Now, it's been a journey from um, 2007 mm -hmm. when you released a show, Bekasa. And then um, you journeyed all the way. Seven years later was when, um, which one was released in 2014? Work, Work in, in progress, progress was released in 2014. And 2021, God finally lifted you mm -hmm. to the highest award in this nation. Mm -hmm. How much of your will did you avail to God for this to happen? Were there times yeah. where you probably disobeyed or didn't listen to God? I just want to know this morning. Yeah. Um, I think if you, if, if you listen to me speak a lot of times, it, all I say is for me, it's been total and absolute reliance on God. Mm. It, it's never been about my voice, what I can do. It's because if... Whenever I'm in that state, it never goes well. And so I'm okay when it's not about me and it's about Jesus. Mm. And I've seen him do it. It's, it was from Osrobe Kasa to Insuye, mm. to Ayewa, mm. to Work in Progress, mm. to Muni Yoti, to Oabeshe, to Nsencheni Nyankupo. To, to, it's just a song and, and, and cookie. I've been taking it one song at a time. Wow. Yeah. So Work in Progress is getting played right now. Let's take a look and then we can understand exactly where you're coming from with this very song. We'll continue the conversation, but let's take a look. Work in progress indeed, and it just goes to say that when you allow yourself to first of all believe that we are all work in progress and you allow God himself to work on you, this is what you get at the end of the day. Four out of six, if um, you were in class um, six and you were supposed to graduate to GHS, like when you had distinction, straight, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like straight, 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 straight. <laughs> now, I just want, have you even slept at all? Oh, cookie. You haven't slept, have you? How was church yesterday? Were you able to go to church? No, I wasn't able to go to church mm. um, because Chatterhouse also put up a whole um, hall okay. for Team DH to come watch the awards on screen. Exactly, because you were in the awards so you couldn't watch the awards. So, so the whole team were doing mm. that on the Saturday night. Oh. So, and I thought we were going to leave because obviously we didn't finish right, early. Right. Well, they stayed up for me. So we were there till about 3 a.m. Mm. with Team DH mm. before we left and went back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. And then I had an event with Joe Metal last night. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of um, other things to well. do. Yeah, so you've so been I needed that morning yes. off, but I, I, I was up at seven anyway. How many days of sleep do you think you need after this? Well, I never get that. So when I go to the UK, then I just stretch and my legs. And mentioning the UK, it's actually amazing that you don't live here. Many people don't even think that you don't live here. So for somebody who doesn't live here, how are you able to do music, come back, infiltrate the system, make hit songs, and now you're Cookie. artist of the year? How do you Cookie. do it? Like, do you, do you own a private jet? Cookie. No, I'm just asking. I was born at Mamobi Polyclinic. But I want to have... I mean, a ghost to say that you don't live here. Hey, you no. just said a yeah, ghost. A ghost to say a, a, that you're I'm saying is it goes to uh, say who that. Who private jet and now? How do you how do you go in and out? Well, we use the same airlines, isn't uh, it? Ever any day. That's a lot of money, though. 
Two your money, are you rich? What's your bank account saying at the moment? Your phone, my cash. Oh, my cash. But he said they want to make cash. Yeah, he said they make okay. the fit on that. Okay. I, I, I want to touch and I want to talk about something or somebody very important in your life. Um, Apostle, um, Professor, Opoku uh, Professor Opoku Onyina. I even saw his tweet congratulating you and all that. And I see that the Church of Pentecost have been very instrumental mm -hmm. in this whole award-winning music business of yours. Who is this man to you again? <laughs> I know he's your spiritual father, but and, apart and from that... He's, he, apart from him being the spiritual father, he was a personal friend to my dad. Okay. And um, since I've lost my dad, he's been like a pillar behind me. Not just for what you see. That's that a support system. It's a support system mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I only need to pick up the phone. And then he's there. Right. It doesn't matter right. where I'm going. Like when, if it's experience, he's making time. Last year's experience, he flew in straight from Accra just to be in Kumasi to be there. Listen, it, 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 he's such a great support for me and the Church of Pentecost and the Christian body. Fraternity. You know, mm. uh, friends, Bishop Oswansa, Pastor mm. Kinsia PJ, Mrs. Giftia Finin Dazi. Um, it's it's amazing. I can't begin to mention the names of pastors who have been a blessing to me, and and it's I say this: the love is palpable. Mm. But the Church of Pentecost brought me up, right. made me, gave me their platform, have never de denied me that uh, that access, and I'm I'm grateful to God. For Two that. more questions, and my colleague Bella will join me for us to wrap up this segment on the show today. But when you were giving your speech at the end of the night. There were two people you mentioned in connection to the Adum song. Yes. And you said, um, if I if I remember correctly, you said they were they are the inspiration behind mm. the song. And I saw there was a lady who had blonde short hair yeah. who was going all the way like this. <laughs> who, who is that lady? That's here? my makeup artist, cutie right oh. in front of that girl. So she doesn't even have anything to do with the song. But she was ecstatic the night. So I thought, okay, she's probably part of the two people no, you the mentioned. The two people I mentioned are all in the United States. Okay, Adelaide. so what 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 did they have to do with with Adum okay. song? Okay, so Adelaide is my sister. She looks blood just, sister. Blood sister. Okay. Looks just like me. Mm. She's copied me all her life. Copied me to the point she bought my same wedding gown for her wedding. Are you kidding? Bought my tiara. Did the same hairstyle. Are Meanwhile, she married that? about six years later. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's how close we are. Right. Anyway, so she went. She sings as well. Mm. And her daughter is Michelle. So I said. The Michelle story, because Adelaide was pregnant with Michelle. She was looking for a girl so bad, mm. got pregnant with Michelle, was excited about mm. it. And then at 20 weeks, her water broke. Ooh, 20? Yes. Not even, not even no. 30 or anything. And so the doctor said, it won't work. So that let's just, just abort. Yes, let's abort the baby. And she said, no. The doctor said, anything that can possibly go wrong will go wrong with this baby. Mm. She stood her grounds, prayed. And now Michelle is about four years, smartest, strong. beautiful, strong. At 20 And weeks. apparently when I mentioned her name, she was, Mommy, Auntie Diana mentioned my name. I'm a star. Ah, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> that's so cute. Wow. So, so she was, was it? The, it was when Adelaide came out of that mm -hmm. issue and mm -hmm. with such a beautiful story mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And she said, Auntie, when I look at Michelle, I tell myself I do not look like what I've been through, mm. and this is my great story. Oh, so that is where that doom song yes. came from. Yes. The must I, I told myself said there's a reason, or there must be a reason why Diana yeah. mentioned those two people in yes. connection with that song. Listen, we want to take so for those of you who missed it, let's take a look at what she had to say at the end of the night when she picked the biggest award of the night, artist of the year, VGMA 2021. Let's take a look. Yes, Mark. Oh, honorable. So, <laughs> honorable, who have it you? <laughs> okay. Uh, did did Kitty say he was going to come back? <laughs> Is Kitty here? Are you coming back? Because Dinah Hamilton will not permit you to come oh. back. Wow. Indeed it is, Grace. Congratulations. Woo! 
Nostalgia in the auditorium. Wow. Make way for the Queen. Diana Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen. To ever win this award. To ever get nominated as well. Absolutely incredible tonight. I've been through a lot. It is a grace indeed. My chest is now a testimony. So the essence of my brain is set in on my brain. Jesus is cool like that. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you to the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Professor Opokonina, Mrs. Seduba Four, my parents, my family, my fans, Team DH, everybody, Uncle Charles Ojola, King David, my husband, Michael and Michaela, Father Dixon. To everybody that campaigned, if you are going to go to bed, you can all go to sleep now. Thank you to gospel. Thank you to the fraternity. Thank you. God richly bless you. This is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our sight. God bless everybody. Thank you. Have I said everything? Have I? Yes. Congratulations. Wow. Dinah Hamilton. Team PH, we did it! Yeah. Woo! What a night. Hey, going out to you, Dinah. And since today is Sunday, offering time, and I'm going to call you God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the one question moment. I haven't asked yeah. it. What all of this means to you and how you were feeling at that part. I wanted to reserve it for last. I just want to understand. Because you wow. haven't even watched this video. No, I haven't. It's the first now time, that I'm yeah. watching it, yeah. it's, it's bringing back what I felt. It, it was like, has it really happened? It did happen. You know, um, the, the efforts people put in. It, because I'll tell you this, ladies. They could, I just felt that if it didn't go this way, a lot of people would have been very disappointed. And mm. for that... I was happy that it went this way. Right. Yeah. yeah. But you and know, there were talks about, you know, those divided <laughs> conversations. Mm. Mm. A section of the crowd thought it should have gone to Kitty. A section mm. thought it, was, it should have gone to you. And even after that, mm. I mean, the conversations, the banter on social media, no, Dinah should not have taken it. It should have been Kitty. Right. I don't know how you feel about that. You know how I feel about that? I wrote a song that says, um, um, that's mm. one. And it's an opinion they can have it. Mm. Opinions are like noses. Everybody's Everyone has one. one. Mm -hmm. And so I respect that. But it will be, I, I say this all, all morning, that's what I've been saying, that it will be unbiblical mm -hmm. if everybody said, I deserve this. Right. Yeah. Because the Bible says, woe unto you mm -hmm. if everybody loves you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, no, not everybody will accept this. Mm -hmm. And that is allowed. Right. But there are a lot of people out there who support what I am doing, who've been blessed by it, and that is why it's tilted this way. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm not it's worried. Fine. But what's, fine. what have you got to tell the young man, though? Oh, he's a fine what gentleman. Do you feel about, what what, what do you think of Kitty? Tell me. He's, he's, he's such a cool guy. Uh, he's, he's cool I like just, that. I, he's cool like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, I met him this morning, and uh, he was making so much fun about it. He said he doesn't, the only thing he remembers is that he's, he's going to come back. Mm -hmm. oh, that's back. all he remembers. <laughs> but saying, um, he's a fine gentleman. Well yeah. done to him. He picked four awards mm, as well. So, mm, yeah. Mm, We've mm. actually exchanged messages on mm, Twitter and mm, Facebook. Mm, okay. Mm. Any possibility of you working together in the near with future? Um, I mean, this will with, be with, with Kitty. Kitty. Yeah. Or any of these I, other artists But you know well, he's a check. You know? He's a serious check. Yeah. Um, he's a PK as well. He's a he, pastor's he, kid. He's a oh, serious... Yeah. Okay. Listen, Kitty can get out of the club or from whatever performance, go to church in the same outfit. I'm even thinking he probably went to church yesterday. I haven't... It won't shock me if he went to church. I'm telling you, yeah. straight from the VGMAs after a little celebration, that boy will end up in church. He goes to ICGC. He's a serious church wow. kid. He's a pastor's kid wow. as well. So wow. maybe you guys That's should look nice. into it. That's It'll be nice. beautiful. Anytime.
anything is possible. Yes. What do you think about collaborating with what people call secular artists? Yeah, artists. I mean, there have been people who have had concerns about it, mm. that it doesn't even show, mm. you know, it doesn't speak of God's word. Because, and all because that. you're what unequally you yoked. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, this topic, I get asked a lot, and I say that for us as a team, it's something that hasn't come on the table as yet right. mm. that we will do or we will not do. And so whenever we choose to discuss it, I will bring it out and let people know. But everyone has an opinion on this, and I want to stay out of that conversation. You want to mm. stay out of it? You don't yeah. want to comment at all? No, I don't want to comment about it. For us as a team, mm. it's not something we are considering doing now. Yeah. Okay. We'll leave it at you, that. You are, not, yeah. you are not in no time collaborating with anybody outside Christian it music or outside gospel music? It hasn't come on the table as yet. Mm. I think for me, I work with a team. Right. And everything that we've done, it's a, we've, it's a it's, communal it's decision. A communal decision. Mm. And so I, I, and then when we come out to say it, it's something that's established. We'll wait for that day. Please do. I want to know what your take and what your answer is on Please do. this one. <laughs> we'll wait. We'll wait. Now, I, I, one, one, like, Bella, if you don't have any other questions, I just want no, to ask you No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So the responsibility that's on your head and shoulders right now. I, when they ask this, I'm like, the award is not somebody saying, take this and go do a job. The award is take this because you have done well. Mm. Hello. I have <laughs> Lele. done. Lele. <laughs> okay. So that's what the award is. Yeah. However, um, mm. we're just going to keep on doing what we're doing. Working harder, praying harder, trusting God more. No pressure. Just, we will not reinvent the wheel. We will not change the winning team. We we'll just live life. Yeah. Crown brothel. You anyway, know. happy <laughs> birthday to Gifty Obrey, your boy, students and nurse. And this is coming from Amo Maris right here at TV3. And this goes to say, this goes to say that she is cool <laughs> artiste. like that. Yeah, she's cool like that. <laughs> and she's artiste of the year, VGMA's 2021, actually the 22nd edition. We do 